women's golf coach Jan Dowling, Title IX and its influence has run alongside of her every step of her often pioneering career. Dowling grew up in Ontario, Canada in the 1980s and was involved in a variety of sports from the start. You know, I grew up in a really small town and went to a smaller high school, and so if you were interested in athletics, and if even if you weren't any good, you know, if you were interested in athletics, you could play a lot of the different sports. Um, boy, all through high school, I, I played everything. I was a, a ski racer in the winter, obviously a golfer in the summer, but I played basketball, I played soccer, I ran track and field, I did all the sports. She eventually settled on a future in golf, and that future would be in the U.S., playing for Kent State, part of the school's first ever women's golf team. The Kent State opportunity came about, and what attracted me to it was, one, it was, boy, I get to be a part of this first year of a program, an inaugural season at Kent State, and the other thing was I, need, I knew I needed the playing experience. Behind Dowling, the Golden Flashes had success right out of the gates. How we set the tone for our team was, was really incredible. It was truly a product of Title IX. Um, Kent State wanted to, uh, and the director of golf, Herb Page at Kent State, wanted a women's program there, and he wanted them to be as good as their men's team. And uh, So I knew I was going to get a first-class experience there, and... Uh, great coaching and, and uh, that really was attractive to me and, and they did it the right way. They didn't just add a team to add a team, they added a team and, and made it a great team and great support and, and I'll always be thankful for that. I wouldn't be where I am today without it. With two Conference Player of the Year awards under her belt and an eventual spot in the Kent State Hall of Fame, Dowling then went pro, playing on the Futures Tour from 2003 to 2005. I do think it was really difficult to make a living, which is probably why I only did it for three years. Um, it was very expensive and, and very hard to make enough money to, to really live even just a comfortable life. Um, you know, and some of that was probably the way I played, but um, even, even the best players were having a tough time making ends meet. In 2008, Dowling made her way back to Kent State, serving under her former head coach, Mike Morrow. That same year, she blazed yet another trail, moving over to the men's team as an assistant during Kent State's NCAA tournament run. The Golden Flash's sixth place finish that year was the highest in school history. To work with men's players versus women, I mean, you know, some of it was just a little bit of a different mindset, um, but it was fun. I mean, I got a little pushback. I was definitely the only female coach at the national championship. Um, and I don't know how many more women have coached at a national championship on the men's side. Um, but the team embraced me, which, I, you know, says a lot about the character of the guys that were on that team. And um, I would do it again. I loved it. Her first job as a head coach came at Florida in 2009, part of a three-year run that saw the Gators finish in the top 12 in the NCAA twice. 2013 brought her coaching career here to Ann Arbor, where she's been ever since. During her tenure, Michigan has three top 20 finishes in the finals. You know, the biggest thing that I've learned over the years is just the players have a lot of great information if you just ask them and then secondly, listen. You know, I think that that's a huge thing is the, these players are smart. To me, Title IX means opportunity, um, opportunity for young women in sport, uh, but it also means opportunity for women in sport in general. And I think um, if I look at the progress that we've made as a country in the United States and North America, to be quite honest, is uh, we're getting there, particularly with the student athletes, like the current student athletes. Um, but I still think we have a long way to go as far as inspiring women to stay in sport longer, um, whether it's a career or whether it's um, just staying involved and in playing their sport after they're finished with either high school or university. And that means seeing more women doing it. This winter, Dowling gave her players something else to look up to, career life balance as she and her husband welcomed a baby boy, Simon, on January 17th.
I, I'm going to have to be efficient and effective, but I also think that it's going to be very healthy for our, our team, our current team, to see um, how it's going to take, take a village. But myself and my husband and, and our assistant coach and our support staff help make this all happen. And so it's, you know, I, I think that's going to be inspiring for them. For MGO Blue TV, I'm Anthony Palladano.